perfect alternative to pasta, in my opinion. That was printed only 15 years after Dante's death. Uh, I, I love it, guys. I think it's, it's absolutely incredible. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Piacenza, a fantastic historical city in northern Italy, still in Emilia-Romagna, but very close to Lombardy, very close to Piedmont. And yeah, it's a, it's, it's a really, really impressive and important city historically, and I will show you why in just a few moments. Piacenza, guys, is a city of transit, as it was called by Leonardo da Vinci, because there have been poets, there have been artists, there have been popes, Templars, and adventurers, and princes, and so many people have transited here, have passed through Piacenza, and you know, making this city and the city's history so unique. And here we are today as well, ready to explore the city. And I bet that you'll need just a few hours to spend here to fall in love with Piacenza. And so let's get my theory tested. If you're ready, guys, come with me. Let's discover the city together. This Gothic palace, guys, that is uh, the center of the city and the town hall uh, has one hosted Francesco Petrarca. And if you remember, I talked about him in my video from Arezzo, his birthplace. Ever since medieval times, prominent people, prominent minds have been transiting, have been traveling around and exchanging their knowledge and, you know, gifting their talents to other people, to other cities. They were not enclosed in their town or everything. I, I, I find it absolutely fascinating. I think it's incredible. And this is what makes Italy so special, you know, not only this uh, place, not only this country has produced so many amazing minds, really impressive artists and poets and philosophers. But it seems like this country, despite all the difficulties that they could have been facing during their lifetimes, you know, they still could move around and share their knowledge and leave their legacy in this country. I, I, I love it, guys. I think it's, it's absolutely incredible. I am so in awe of this part of Italian history. Obviously, guys, as in any other Italian city, the cathedral is right in the center. It's the heart of the city, and I really like it. You know, wherever you go, you see these impressive monuments. This cathedral dates back to the 12th century. And although it really looks beautiful from the outside, the true jewels are hidden inside, including some of the very important frescoes by Guercino and the ancient crypt. and lots of other treasures that you can find there as well as in the museum of the cathedral that is so so cool there inside guys you can see a unique manuscript called libro del maestro also nicknamed code 65 a very mysterious name for a very mysterious document as well dating back to the 12th century that nobody really knows much about which is so, so impressive. There is a farmer's market today. And you know, guys, I don't really like it when the central piazzas of the cities are flooded with the markets, especially with the closed markets. However, here today, I think it's really interesting because there are different projects, local organic projects, and you know, I love this. And yeah, I think it's pretty interesting. If you are into local food and local produce, uh, it's definitely worth exploring. Let's go and see what's there. Up, 
Piacenza really gives me this uh, vibe of uh, a city with so many hidden gems uh, that you actually have to go and look for because there are plenty of those, but they're not on the surface. What I mean is that you have to enter the churches, enter the museums to look deeper, to look inside. And I actually like it. I think it's wonderful here in this basilica of uh, Sant'Antonino, Saint Antonino, the sa uh, patron saint of Piacenza. Uh, there are numerous artworks, splendid artworks, and another manuscript. So yeah, Piacenza is apparently also a city of the manuscripts that allegedly belonged to 9th century Italian king Lotario. Can you just imagine? a manuscript from the 9th century. Guys, if you're a history lover, Italy is your country. It certainly is mine and definitely is yours because history is on every step here. Let's go with me. So guys, today for lunch I got a very peculiar local dish that is called Pizare e Fazo. So this dish uh, originates from the medieval times when the local monks in the monasteries cooked this dish for the pilgrims passing by Piacenza. And it includes, basically it includes the gnocchi and beans and I think toma tomato sauce. Yeah, it should be tomato sauce. I don't know if there is anything else, but it looks very uh, nutritious and um, I think it's perfect for this colder uh, autumnal weather. Uh, let's try it. It's very interesting, guys. Um, I think it's a perfect, absolutely perfect alternative to, uh, you know, the first course because here in Italy, by the way, pasta is considered the first course. And gnocchi is a perfect alternative to pasta, in my opinion. And it's, yeah, it's very interesting. A perfect dish for colder weather. Perfect dish if you want to have a good, nutritious lunch, if you want to feel full after lunch. Actually, I'm not sure that I'll be able to finish it. Like, it's good, but it's too much for me. But uh, yeah, I highly recommend you to try it. And also, I think it's really cool to try new local dishes wherever you go. You know, every city in Italy has its own dish. And it's so interesting, my cameraman actually got um, tortelli, which is another type of pasta, here they are, with spinach and ricotta, but they're not the typical tortelli that you'll find anywhere else. These are tortelli from Piacenza. And I find it so cute, you know, wherever you go in Italy, you have this uh, local dish. It might be very similar to the dish in the nearby city, but it will be different from the type of pasta, the, tiny details uh, with which it was made or with the tiny uh, differences to the fillings and it will be a different dish and I think it's so cute but also all these dishes are so good so yeah come here try everything and enjoy yourselves Guys, I'm back to exploring the hidden treasures of Piacenza and the city library of Piacenza, besides being an absolutely splendid place featuring amazing rooms where you can read and you can uh, take the old books, the old manuscripts, it conserves inside the divine comedy that was printed only 15 years after Dante's death. Can you just realize how old is it, guys? It's impressive. I think you cannot actually see it. We didn't see it. I think you have to ask for it. But wow, 15 years after Dante's death and you still can have a printed copy of his Divine Comedy. Piacenza, guys, is the city that you have to see from the inside because from the outside, architecturally speaking, I wouldn't say that it's the most beautiful city that I've seen in Italy, but there are so many interesting facts about the city and there are so many interesting places in this city. One random fact that, however, blows my mind absolutely is that the first crusade was actually announced here. The Pope announced 
the first crusade in the 11th century in Piacenza, after the Byzantine emperor asked for help and asked for, for basically for the crusades, a city that wasn't that big, a city that wasn't that powerful, was actually the heart of the crusades, or at least we can call it that. Oh, guys, I like it so much here. First thing first, have a look here of this view of all these colorful houses down there. I love it so much. I think this, this place is really, really picturesque. Although the weather today is definitely not in our favor because it's quite gray and foggy, but that's normal. Winters in Northern Italy are like this, but I really like the view here. Anyway, just imagine these colorful houses when it's sunny. Anyway, this place, the stairs are called uh, Scalinata di Munta di Rat, which means something like, well, basically I don't know how to translate it because it's a local dialect, but apparently the local legend says that it's called like the stairs of the rats, the stairs of the mice as well, because uh, according to that legend, when River Po was flooding the city, the rats were escaping the lower parts of the city through these stairs. However, the real reason why it's called like that is apparently because it was a hilly uh, stairs, like the stairs leading up the hill, and so uh, the original name probably said it was the stairs up the mountain, but nobody knows. And yeah, there's a local legend that says its own story, but the view from here is really nice and yeah, this place is really one of the most picturesque I've seen here by far. I like it. And that's it for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed Piacenza, a lovely, lovely city in northern Italy that you have to visit and make sure to get as much insight as possible to explore all the wonderful museums, all the beautiful churches and everything that this city has to offer. If you're new here, guys, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell button down below to get all the notifications of the upcoming videos because I make lots of travel vlogs and expert chat and other interesting videos primarily about life in Italy but not only and as always don't forget to put a thumbs up comment and share this video with your friends so I can make more videos like this thank you guys for being here and enjoy your day